Hello everyone, I'm your host, Nate, lost in time and space, and welcome to this month's Arkham News Roundup. In this series, I quickly highlight news and product releases that occurred throughout the previous month. March sees the release of new campaign settings for 7th edition Call of Cthulhu, the revealing of a new Mythos pack for the Arkham LCG, along with some unfortunate news about the sinking city and the loss of a prominent writer. As always, if you're interested in learning more about the topics covered in this video, links will be in the description below. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Not wanting to end the video on a down note, let's get the bad news out of the way now. On March 8th, Frogwares Game Studio released a video on their YouTube channel in which they announced a new release date for the Sinking City. In this brief video, they share some reasons for the delay. Hello everyone. As many of you have noticed, we have been quiet about our release date. The thing is that, after talking about this internally for the past couple of months, we have decided to move our release to a later date. And the reasons for this are actually quite simple. We decided that we want to release our game in a less crowded time frame. With so many great games coming out around the same time, I'm sure this will also give you some breathing space for your playing time. So with all that in mind, we have moved our release date to the 27th of June 2019. We hope that this new date will suit you all well. So hopefully, while we are giving you less to worry about which game you should or shouldn't play, this additional time will also allow us to continue to optimize the Sinking City, making it a little bit better. So on behalf of the whole studio, I want to say thank you for all your love, comments and feedback that we are getting from you. Please let us know your thoughts as they do shape our decisions. Thank you all for your patience. Please stay tuned for more information on the Sinking City and we'll speak again real soon. Take care. Later in the month, during GDC, however, Epic Games announced a slew of games coming exclusively to Epic Games Store. And you guessed it. Frogware Studios and Big Ben Interactive Publishing have signed an exclusivity deal with Epic Games to have The Sinking City be released on the Epic Games Store. In the original video published by the developer, you can see the Steam logo on the bottom of the screen in the ending slide. I'm not going to spend my time speculating as to exactly what transpired to make this deal possible. I'll let you come to your own conclusions, but at a surface level it looks extremely shady. I'm not alone in this regard either. While the initial comments were mostly positive, mine included, public opinion quickly soured to this news. To me it feels like a blatant cash grab at the expense of the end user, but let me know in the comments what you think about this situation. Moving on from the shady to the just plain sad, earlier this month, Larry Detalio passed away at the age of 71. Best known in the Mythos community for being the original author of the epic Call of Cthulhu campaign, The Mask of Anirolethotep, Larry worked mostly as a screenwriter for titles such as He-Man, She-Ra, Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids, Beast Wars, and Babylon 5, among other things. Mike Mason of Chaosium wrote a great piece about Larry that I suggest you read. Additionally, over at yogsathoth.com, you can find archived interviews with Larry about his work. To quote Mike Mason, Thank you, Larry, for your insight, your creativity, and your wisdom. You will be missed. With all of that stuff out of the way, let's move on to product releases. Chaosium this month published the hardcover of the second edition, Terror Australis, Call of Cthulhu in the Land Down Under. As the subtitle suggests, this campaign setting takes place in 1920s Australia. The book provides keepers with tons of information to run a game or campaign in this setting, covering topics like resources, cities, the mythos, and Alkurginga? Alkurginga? Known to some as the Dreaming, or Dreamtime, the Alkuringa focuses on how to incorporate the wisdom and learning stemming from Aboriginal culture traditions into games. The book also includes two scenarios. The first, Long Way From Home, sees the investigators look into a series of odd and unexplained meteor showers. The second, Black Water, White Death, sees the investigators venture to Tasmania for an auction. This sounds awfully familiar. On the digital side of things, Chaosium released in March the PDF for their newest campaign setting, Berlin, the Wicked City. Taking place in the aftermath of the Great War, this book presents an overview of 1920s Berlin for keepers and investigators, detailing notable characters, locations, and organizations. Unlike the prudish nature of 1920s New England, Berlin had a reputation for licentiousness, and as such, the book is intended for mature audiences. 
The book continues with suggestions on how to incorporate the mythos into your games, and concludes with three scenarios, which I'll include descriptions on the screen now. You can purchase the PDF on Chaosium's website, and doing so gets you a coupon for the future printed edition. Chaosium isn't the only publisher releasing campaign settings this month. Modifius released updated versions of Akhtan Cthulhu, Investigator and Keeper Guides. This update brings this World War II setting to the Call of Cthulhu 7th edition rule set, and you can pick up PDF copies on the DriveThruRPG website. At the tail end of March, FFG announced the final Mythos pack in the Circle Undone cycle. Before the Black Throne, sees the investigators of Arkham leaving their world behind for the infinite void of space. This scenario brings with it a new mechanic called the Cosmos deck. Similar in function to the Explore deck from scenarios past, this version has slight variations however. Rather than locations having set connection markers, each location drawn from this new deck, such as Dancer's Mist, will have a triggered ability you must resolve before placing it. If you cannot place a location this way, you must shuffle it back into the Cosmos deck and cancel your movement. The article also spoils the new keyword, Bonded. Some cards in this Mythos pack feature the new Bonded keyword, keeping them specifically linked cards to other player cards. These Bonded cards do not have levels, and are not available as options when deck building. Rather, the cards they are bonded to will summon them into play. The article goes on to spoil some player cards in the Mythos pack, giving an example on how the Bonded keyword works in action. I'm excited to see what other Bonded cards are in this pack, and if every faction will receive one. March was a month of mixed emotions and great product releases. Berlin, the Wicked City, seems like an awesome contrast to your typical Call of Cthulhu game, and is a product that I am most excited for. I was originally excited for the release of The Sinking City, but with shady business practices muddying the waters of Oakmont, I'm now hesitant. But, as always, I want to hear from you. Leave your thoughts about this month's news in the comments below. If you like this series, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, and if you want to know when my videos go live, hit that subscribe button to become one of the many that are lost in time and space. I want to thank you as always for watching, and have a great day.